Everyone's ditching Notion for self-hosted alternatives, and two names keep appearing, Outline and Define. Both promise data liberation from corporate clouds. <laughs> but when I investigated what actually happens during deployment, I discovered some fascinating contradictions. Outline launched nine years ago with 35,000 GitHub stars. Affine is three years old with 58,000 stars, crushing Outline in community adoption. The documentation makes bold promises. Affine claims to be unrestricted and privacy first. Outline markets itself as fast and team ready. I deployed both using Docker to see what the marketing translates to. Outline absolutely refuses to start without an external authentication provider. You must configure Google OAuth, Slack, or spin up Keycloak. No way around it. GitHub discussions overflow with people wrestling with Keycloak configurations and cryptic authentication errors. A fine boots immediately. No auth provider headaches, no OAUTH dance. Just works. Seems clear cut, right? Then I read the license files. Outline uses BSL, Business Source License, not technically open source. You cannot use it to provide competing document services commercially. The code converts to Apache after four years, but current versions remain restricted. Affine's Community Edition uses MIT, genuinely open source. Fork it however you want. I logged into both self-hosted instances. Outline performed exactly as advertised. Clean interface, markdown support, real-time collaboration, working flawlessly. Desktop apps only connect to cloud service, not self-hosted. Then I logged into Affine and saw something curious. A free label next to my username, on my own server, with my own hardware. And let me tell you... Let me tell you something! Let me tell you something! Let me tell you something about those self-hosted restrictions. The interface showed 10 gigabyte storage limits, three members per workspace maximum, and AI features locked behind cloud subscriptions on hardware I'm paying for. GitHub issues exploded with confusion. Why do self-hosted versions have cloud tier restrictions? The team's response? Manually edit database settings to remove limits. Not exactly the unrestricted experience advertised. Here's the verdict. Outline is honest about limitations up front. The BSL license is clearly disclosed, the auth requirement is documented, and what you see is what you get. It's faster, more stable, and genuinely focused on being a knowledge base. Affine promises everything, but delivers artificial restrictions on your own infrastructure. The whiteboarding features impress, but the bait and switch on self-hosting is problematic. Unless you're comfortable editing Postgres directly, you're getting cloud-restricted experience on your own metal. Want a straightforward wiki that respects what it is? Outline wins, despite the off-hassle. If this saved you from deployment regret, perfect. <laughs> I investigate self-hosted tools so you don't waste weekends debugging artificial limits. Hey, Mark here. So look, I spend a lot of time investigating these products, and honestly, I'd rather not fill this channel with sponsored content from companies whose products I might end up roasting next week. That would be <laughs> awkward. If this review helped you out, saved you from wasting money, or maybe helped you find something that's actually worth buying, here are a few ways you can support what we're doing here. First up, I've put the link to this specific product down in the description. If you want to check the current price or read more reviews, click through there. And if you do buy through my link, they toss me a few pennies without charging you extra. Win-win. Second option, and this one's for all you regular Amazon shoppers, there's another link down there that just goes to Amazon's homepage. Bookmark it, use it whenever you shop. Doesn't matter if you're buying this product or just restocking on toilet paper. Using that link means a tiny portion of what you're already spending helps fund these investigations. And trust me, Jeff Bezos won't even notice it's missing. <laughs> It's the easiest way to support the channel without spending extra money. Now, the third option is for those of you who need help right now. Like, you've got a product sitting in your cart and you're thinking, is this thing legit or am I about to waste my money? That's what our membership is for. Think of it like hiring me as your private BS investigator. For as low as three bucks a month, you submit products for urgent investigation I do the deep dive and deliver a personalized review to your inbox in 24 to 72 hours, depending on your tier. It's basically like having me on speed dial for product research. 
Except, instead of calling, you just send me the sketchy product and I'll tell you if it's worth your money or complete garbage. Alright, that's it. Keep questioning everything, and I'll see you in the next investigation, where we figure out what's actually worth your money and what's just expensive garbage with good marketing. Stay savage out there. Catch you next time.